Look at this. Look at that. That's way shorter than normal. I mean, normal for me anyways. I've cut it. It's gone away for now. Hair grows back. End of video. All right, for those of you who have been around for a little while, you, you know deep in my heart I have a real love for, for my long hair, or for long hair in general. I think it looks really good. That being said, everyone needs to change every now and again. I'm really liking this new haircut. I've had this haircut for a couple of days now, and there's some key advantages that I have really noticed since getting this haircut. I thought, you know what, maybe I should share that with you guys for anyone out there who might be thinking of doing the same thing. You wanna switch it up, go a little bit shorter, I've got some good, good reasons why you might want to consider it. First and foremost, one of the best things that I've experienced since uh, going short is the ease of styling. How easy it is to style your hair. It's so much less effort to style, so much shorter styling time is required. It's just so much easier to style shorter hair. I, like, I've forgotten. I'm, I'm saying this because I've forgotten how easy it is. I mean, look at that volume right now. Like, I barely did anything to get that. It's just... It's just here because it's short. It's like, I'm short enough, I wanna go into the sky. That's what it's that's what it's saying, and that's what it's doing. So that's first advantage. Like my biggest problem used to be trying to maintain volume throughout the day. Now my problem is like just trying to tame it so it's not too crazy, not too voluminous throughout the day. So big 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 ups there. But that leads me to my second point. Having shorter hair increases how long my hairstyle is gonna last and stay in place by so much. When you have longer hair, uh, it looks great when you first style it, but it can be a little bit of a pain to try to maintain that hairstyle throughout the day. With shorter hair, I literally style it once, and then I check a couple hours later, and it's still still in place 100%. So for those of you guys who are complaining about your hairstyle not lasting, suggestion, I know it's not for all of you, but consider getting it a little shorter, you know? Switch things up, like I keep saying, or try it out. Also, you're gonna end up saving some money in your bank. After I got my hair cut the next day when I went to style my hair, I used way too much product because I'm used to using the amount of product I need to style my, my longer hair, and that was a real mess. It was just overly sticky. I applied way too much, and it's because I basically needed to cut the amount that I used by at least half, if not a little bit more. And if you think about it, if I'm using half the amount of product I normally do, I'm gonna have half the amount of more time before I need to replace that product with a new one. So that like doubles the lifespan of my products. That's mathematics for you. So yeah, if there's a, a like a more expensive product that you've been eyeing for a while, short hair might be the reason to make the purchase because it'll last way longer than, uh, than, it, than if you had longer hair, basically. Next one, I think we're on number four. I think so, anyways. Haven't really been counting. This ties back to how easy it is to style your hair. You don't even need a blow dryer. And that's coming from me. I love my blow dryer. I, uh, I, uh, I really like my blow dryer. What I've come to learn though, if I'm in a rush, like I need to get out the, the door quick, which is every morning for me, take some product, whack it in my hair, scruffle it up, and it almost looks like it does right now. I will say I still prefer to use a blow dryer. I feel like it makes my hairstyle last longer throughout the day. Also, it just makes it look a little bit more in place. But that leads me on to my next point. Even if you do use a blow dryer, that blow drying time is cut down significantly a lot which is what significantly means. <clears throat> Normally it takes me like between five to seven minutes to blow dry my hair fully. And that's using the hot settings and then the cold settings to finish it off. With shorter hair, it's taking me between two to three minutes. It's just like finished, throw it away. Although I, I don't, I place it gently down. Blow dry time is significantly decreased. Your arm muscles don't get sore. Okay, so I've got uh, two more to share with you. This next one is a big one and one of my favorite advantages of having short hair, and that is texture, texture, texture. I don't care how much texture you can get in your hair. Shorter hair, I, I would say that I'm, I can get some pretty good texture in my hair, but short hair, like, look at, look at that texture. It's just so, like, it's so rugged. 
Like it's rugged looking. It looks, I think it's really nice. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. If you're a fan of texture and being able to see the individual lines, like you see how you're getting set like separate strands here and there, short hair is the way to go for that. Don't get me wrong, can still get some good texture with longer hair, but that choppiness, them waves, that's gonna really come out um, with shorter hairstyles. Final one, if you've had long hair for a while and you transition from longer hair to shorter hair, your hair is gonna be the healthiest that you felt it in a long time. I've stated this before in my how to grow your hair out video, kind of the opposite to this video, but you can uh, check that out over here if you like to. Uh, just some tips to grow your hair out if that's what you're trying to do. But the one main problem with having longer hair is that since it's been on your head for a longer amount of time, it's also had time to dry out over time, create some split ends, and just not be as healthy as it possibly can. When you're transitioning from longer hair to shorter hair, you're getting rid of length from from your entire head of hair. So you're chopping off all of that old, uh, potentially dried out hair, and you're left with young, fresh, new, just been born hair. So that's the last main difference that I noticed after getting a haircut, my hair really felt thicker, it felt healthier, it felt more alive, and it just feels all around real nice. When I grow my hair back out, once it's long enough again, I'll probably be making, um, the advantages of having long hair video, so like the opposite of this one, because of course there's advantages for both sides. I uh, hope that you guys found this one useful. That's all I've got to say for now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Click that thumbs up uh, button if you did enjoy this video. Um, subscribe if you're new, and I will see everybody next time.